Hello, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. Today's show is brought to you by Greenhouse Garden Center. Not only does Greenhouse Garden Center have a great selection of plants and garden supplies, they also have a fantastic gift shop inside. Check them out for seasonal items and all your Christmas decorating needs coming up this fall. Our guest today is Lindsay Rucker. She is here to join us from moulage.net. And lots of people put on makeup every day to help themselves look or feel better. But there's another kind of makeup, and Lindsay is going to talk to us a little bit about that today. Welcome, Lindsay. Hey, Courtney. How are you doing? I am, well, I'm, Getting how do I look like I'm doing? Right now. <laughs> not sure. I should put a bandage on that or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, moulage is the art of... Like, injury simulation makeup. Injury makeup. Yes. So, this is really cool what you do. So, yeah. this... This style of makeup, many people are thinking, you know, Halloween is coming up right. and this is super creepy. Um, but it's it's used all the time um, outside of Halloween yeah. for, for disaster simulations, exactly. um, on, on television programming, for um, government agencies that want to practice emergency drills. And, and you do this professionally. Yeah, exactly. You know more about it than most people have any idea. So that's pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, what I do is injury simulation makeup. The company I own is called Image Perspectives. And we've been, we've been in business for over 32 years. So yeah, from Homeland Security to your little backyard kind of Halloween stuff, we do it all. This is a, a, a field that many people probably don't think too much about until they're watching their favorite medical drama or cop show and, and one of the characters is laying there with a gunshot wound or uh, a stab wound or, or some other kind of trauma from a, a plane crash. That's actually a thing that, that you do mm -hmm. here locally in, in Reno yeah. at the airport yes, exactly. is, is invent fake plane crashes. Yeah, we put on, yeah, <laughs> more or less, that's pretty much the story. Um, what the government needs, uh, the, the hospitals and the ambulance companies and all of the uh, airports to actually become an airport is to uh, go through disaster drills. So we will put on mass casualty disaster drills, 150 to 300 victims. Sometimes it's only a couple of victims, depending on how big the exercise is supposed to be. But it's all about training our emergency personnel, making sure that they actually get some emotionally evoked response involved. And that has a really, you know, a real life purpose. This isn't just fun and games and, oh, we have some scary makeup or we're pretending we're zombies for, right. for, for fun. This is a, a life and death situation that's really helping our emergency responders to be ready to do their jobs. 100%. That's exactly what we were born out of. My grandmother started the business 32 years ago. She was working for Nevada Division of Emergency Management. And um, she would put on the huge disaster exercises and people would make fun of the the piece of paper strapped to some guy's leg saying, bah, you're, you know, that's not real. And she felt like there was a huge waste of money. Nobody was paying attention. So she felt like she could do better. So she went out. Um, she has a little bit of a theatrical background of the, the makeup and that kind of stuff for, for beauty. And she took that knowledge and made it into the gore and special effects and made everything look much more realistic so that that kind of training is much more um, evoking and uh, very, very lucky to have been born in that situation. <laughs> what a cool business. So you are gonna, you're gonna actually do a little demo here. So we, we put this one on before the show started so people could get a little shock value from the fact that I look like I have a major injury happening here. Right. Um, but we're gonna kind of walk people through how this goes and then we're gonna tell them how they can learn more about this really, Perfect. really cool art form that you're doing. Thank you so much. Well, how about we do like a little zombie skin down here on your arm and maybe give you a black eye as well. A little different. I've never been so excited to get a black eye. Right. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about um, what you're using here. So the products that we use uh, to do the injury simulation makeup or moulage is um, we specialize in a product called Gel Effects, and it's a liquid when it's hot and a solid when it's cool. So it actually is peel offable once it's applied to you. Over time, it'll actually solidify. Borrow your arm real quick. And this particular product is made out of gelatin and a couple of other proprietary stuff. And this kind of wound I'm going to do on you is one of the techniques that I actually teach. I teach classes on how to do the injury simulation makeup. Um, and anyone can take it. Uh, the, t the main types of classes I teach are uh, for military and um, 
people that are involved in the mass casualty exercises so that they can do the, the wounds and stuff on their, their victims for their exercises all over the country. So I'm very lucky to be able to meet people from Australia and uh, Iran. <laughs> so people come here or, or you travel to, mm -hmm. to teach these classes to, to governments around the world, really. Precisely. And I'm, yeah, it's, it's amazing the different needs for this kind of stuff. Uh, and most people have, like you said before, absolutely no idea that it even exists. So not only do I get the aspect of emergency personnel training and that whole side of things that don't, people don't know, but I'm obviously booked solid when it comes to Halloween time. <laughs> so my friends and um, I do own also another company. Uh, uh, I'm part owners, ownership with another company called The Body Paint Factory. And we're body paint artists, and we do this special effect, effects makeup for the zombie prom, the zombie crawl, all of the stuff happening all over um, the Reno area for Halloween. Very cool. So people are familiar with the zombie crawl, and I have kind of always wondered when I have gone and, and seen that, like, how do these people do such realistic looking zombies? Like, yep. I just look like my face is green. Right. You know, <laughs> what? <laughs> What is their secret? And and now I know. We literally have a booth, yes. I mean, for most part, there are definitely some people out there that know what they're doing uh, here in Reno. We have a lot of very artistic people. And um, we just happen to be able to have a booth. And we get to make people up. So we're going to be doing an a, a assembly line kind of zombie style thing. And people are going to be able to come up and uh, get made up like a zombie. And it'll be a total blast. That sounds like a lot of fun. So that's kind of more of a local thing that you guys are doing, um, which is, you know, super fun. Um, but talk a little bit more about some of this, uh, the professional aspects of this, because people, um, people maybe don't understand that these exercises are going on all the time mm -hmm, behind exactly. the scenes. Yeah. Um, Let's see. So our, we, there's usually a triennial exercise, which means every three years, the hospitals have to put on some kind of an exercise, um, like I said, to be able to be a, a, a accredited, hospital. Accredited. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. Those are the words. <laughs> and uh, all over the, the country, as a matter of fact. All right. So, so we've added a couple things to this while we've been chatting. Um, so we've got some nasty looking skin and now some blood also right this is kind of my burn technique um this is normally what we put on to start off with uh, third degree burns i will usually put on some product called derma crisp which is an invention we actually came up with it means burned skin derma crisp we thought it was cute <laughs> and but this time what i'm going to do is modify this into a kind of a maybe a zombie bite or a zombie um rash that may be starting so i'm going to also put some veins coming up Ooh. from the injury itself and make it look a little bit more creepy it's it's looking pretty creepy <laughs> always dripping blood in the end always kind of makes it the tie-in factor so people who are watching this and think this is really cool i i think it's really cool Yay. um people who are watching this and think you know halloween is coming up or you know maybe i i do want to go to the zombie crawl or or you know have some have some of these skills Lindsay is actually going to be doing a class yes um and that is going to be on wednesday october 9th that's right it's coming up real quick it is sudden. it is coming up really quick and that is going to be happening from 5 30 to 7 at the nugget right here in carson city yeah the nugget was gracious enough to be able to have a location for us to hold it um we're expecting it to be huge so we're definitely we need the space for it in there they hooked us up all right, and people can sign up for that um, online. How? Where do they need to go to, to sign up for the class? Um, Facebook is always the best place to locate anything that is pretty much going on in Carson, from what I have found. But um, our our Facebook page at Image Perspectives is where the link is going to be located, and you'll be able to uh, grab that link and sign up directly uh, through our Shopify account with uh, Image Perspectives. All right, and the cost for that is forty dollars. Correct. And tell people what that includes. So with that $40, you're going to be uh, taught pretty much everything I just did. As a matter of fact, I'll be teaching this in class. How to do some of those zombie bites and the zombie wounds. Uh, some gaunt kind of makeup. I'll show you how to kind of ghost somebody out. Um, some lacerations, abrasions, um, other medical stuff that not only has to be done for like um, emergency purposes, but for fun and Halloween, gory kind of stuff as well. 
and that um, it's an hour and a half, so 90 minutes for that class. And uh, I will also have a kit available for purchase anytime you want to check it out or touch and feel. But the class is all hands-on, so you'll be able to actually make yourself up and or the person next to you. Very cool. Now, we, we've talked a little bit about some of this, the, the gels and the, the fake blood and stuff. Where can people get this if they want to if they want to recreate this themselves at home for Halloween or for their next mass casualty incident? Perfect. Um, <laughs> where can they find this stuff? Um, we are a retailer for all of the injury simulation makeup. Uh, we not only teach with it, but we also sell everything. We're a retailer. Um, the the company that we use is Ben Nye is for the types of uh, theatrical makeup that we use, and we are a Ben Nye retailer. We're also a retailer for Miron and Graftobian and a couple of other big names that people might recognize. But um, yeah, we definitely will sell all the products through our um, online site, which is at moulage.net. That's spelled M-O-U-L-A-G-E dot net. <laughs> All right. Because it's a very different word. Moulage.net. Perfect. And in the class, um, there will be a lot of, a lot of gory stuff happening. Um, aside from the zombie crawl, what are some local events that people might want to check out that they could wear some of their uh, new skills? Ooh, um, not a lot of them have, have been announced as far as I know. There used to be the, um, the one in Tahoe, the Freakers Ball, that's right. I believe that's still happening this year. And then uh, I know that there's so many things happening on the 26th. For whatever reason, this year everything landed on the 26th. <laughs> but from house parties to a um, bunch of things happening downtown, and uh, all over the place locally, but definitely the zombie prom, which is on the, the 12th, as a matter of fact, zombie prom. And then the 26th, like I said, is a whole bunch of things going on. All right, and of course, the upcoming Carson Creepy Film Festival. Yes. Is right. happening. Um, that is, of course, the film festival. Local filmmakers have a week to make a, a horror film, basically, a, a scary movie. Um, and that takes place also here in Carson City. Yeah. Um, and the filmmakers who are participating in that film would be well advised uh, to get to this class on the 9th and learn how to do some of this makeup because it is going to make your film much creepier and much scarier to have this really oh, lifelike um, you know, makeup, whether it's, whether it's a slasher film or a zombie flick, whatever kind of horror film you're making, exactly. you need... You need some of this moulage in it. 100%. I definitely agree with you. <laughs> and people who want to do that can sign up um, online at the address. It's on the bottom of the screen right now. And um, that is starting on the 16th of October. So beginning on October 16th, they can make, uh, they can make a scary movie. Yeah, that's right. This is actually my first year being a part of that. And I'm super excited to like plug myself into this. Thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> and uh, I feel like it's going to be a really fantastic fit because um, anything from small lacerations to maybe blackening someone someone's eyes out to wear a mask so it looks more realistic. Um, lots of different little tips and tricks I've kind of just learned through attrition and I've been exposed to. So I would be happy to share that information. So please come to the class and check it out. Absolutely. Lindsay, thanks so much for being with us today. My pleasure. And thanks to all of you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. We had a very gory time today. Um, our show today was brought to you by Greenhouse Garden Center. They have a fantastic gift shop, uh, which has a myriad of fantastic holiday decorations. Check it out. It's not just plants. Um, if your business is interested in sponsoring a future edition of It's Your City, please contact Darla at the address that is shown on your screen. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. You might want to banish that. <laughs> <laughs>